in this video, we're set to explore how technology is reshaping healthcare services across Africa and possibly saving millions of lives across the continent. We will look at transformations like telemedicine, mobile phones, artificial intelligence, data analytics, electronic health records, virtual reality, augmented reality, wearable technologies like smartwatches and fitness trackers, the Internet of Medical Things, and last but not least, blockchain technology. So please stay tuned. And if you have not yet done so, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, and also share your thoughts and experience in the comments section so we can continue to provide educational content and reach even more people. Okay, now that you have done so, let's continue talking about the importance of these tech integrations in our healthcare. One of the reasons this is very important for African communities is due to the unique healthcare challenges we face, like our vast patient to hospital distances, the insufficient medical facilities, and other specific health issues that are endemic to our continent. But thanks to these groundbreaking technological advancements, we are now witnessing a remarkable transformation in our healthcare sector in Africa. Let's start with telemedicine. Telemedicine is emerging as a pivotal force in African healthcare, particularly in enhancing accessibility in remote and rural areas. It is revolutionizing the way healthcare is delivered, allowing people in remote villages and even in cities to consult with doctors without the need for long, often challenging travel. You won't believe that in some instances, we lose our loved ones not because we did not respond to a medical emergency on time, but because we spent more time either waiting for a car, a bike, or even on our way to the hospital. But thanks to technology, this is going to be a thing of the past. Most African countries are implementing this at different levels. For example, in a country like Nigeria, the MDAAAS, which is the acronym for Medical Devices as a Service, is at the forefront of this telemedicine transformation. By offering medical consultations and diagnostic services through digital platforms, they cater to the needs of people in clinically underprivileged communities. Still in the great nation of Nigeria, Dokita Eye provides a mobile app for online consultations, making healthcare even more accessible for those with limited mobility. As we highlighted earlier, this approach is very important in bridging the healthcare gap on our continent. Another example worth mentioning is Kia Medicals based in the Benin Republic. Kia Medicals has played a critical role in telemedicine by streamlining access to healthcare and health microinsurance. By so doing, they enable doctors to access patient information from any location, bridging the information gap that has long plagued the healthcare system on our continent. It is worth mentioning that Kia Medicals connects more than 200,000 potential patients in Benin Republic to 20,000 healthcare providers. This is very inspiring, and if we continue at this pace, the future of healthcare in Africa is bright. Talking about a bright future, there are other telemedical services across the continent that are doing groundbreaking work, ensuring that our health is not a thing of triviality, but our greatest asset. For instance, ConnectMed in Kenya offers virtual consultations, thereby enabling patients to access medical advice through video or audio calls. Isn't that just wonderful? And there is still more. South Africa's Hello Doctor and Vula Mobile offer services ranging from health advice to specialist referrals, supporting both patients and healthcare workers in remote areas. Another example is Babel, which is based in Rwanda. Babel integrates digital consultations with Rwanda's national health system. In fact, Babel's mission is to put an accessible and affordable healthcare service in the hands of every person on earth. Isn't that inspiring? In the beautiful nation of Kenya, Sasa Doctor offers online consultations and other healthcare services. The great nation of Uganda is not left out. 
Rocket Health is transforming the health sector by facilitating digital doctor consultations, pharmacy services, and lab results in Uganda. I must confess, there is absolutely no reason to be depressed about the future of healthcare in Africa. Congratulations to all those innovating the telehealth sector because we recognize that these services are instrumental in ensuring that quality medical advice and care reach those who might otherwise have limited access to healthcare facilities. Of course, there is a lot for us to talk about on telemedicine, but we will continue on that topic some other time. Before we delve into artificial intelligence, it is important that we mention even briefly how the widespread use of mobile phones has sparked a boom in health-related apps in Africa. Sometimes it is tempting for us to think that our mobile phones are just for phone calls and messages. Of course, those are also very essential services, but the apps on these phones serve various purposes, from monitoring diseases to providing health education and managing healthcare services. For example, Apps like Hello Doctor offer personalized health advice, while Empedigree helps verify the authenticity of medications. In Senegal, the innovative app Jokosante allows users to exchange unused medication for points, which can then be used to obtain other medicines. This approach addresses both medication accessibility and waste, showcasing the practical benefits of digital solutions in healthcare. This is absolutely incredible. Okay, let's now talk briefly about artificial intelligence, AI, and data analytics. AI and data analytics are reshaping public health across Africa, showcasing the continent's growing embrace of technology in this vital sector. A good example is Zipline's drone technology, which facilitates swift delivery of medical supplies in Rwanda and Ghana, considerably enhancing response times in medical emergencies. The importance of such services cannot be overemphasized in Africa, especially considering the conditions we mentioned above. What makes me happy is the fact that numerous African countries are making significant strides in utilizing AI and data analytics in healthcare. For instance, the great nation of Senegal took the initiative by employing AI-based systems for contact tracing and predicting virus spread during the COVID-19 pandemic. Of course, we all witness the effectiveness of such initiatives in managing public health emergencies that arose from the COVID-19 pandemic. In the beautiful nation of Tanzania, the Afakara Health Institute is using AI to predict the ages of mosquitoes and to predict outbreaks of mosquito-borne diseases like malaria by analyzing diverse data sources, enabling proactive measures against such diseases. This approach is crucial for malaria research and surveillance, as knowing a mosquito's age helps determine its potential to spread malaria. Are you ready for a malaria-free Africa? If we continue on this path, then malaria control efforts in Africa would be a thing of the past. Kudos to Africa. In the vibrant nation of South Africa, machine learning algorithms are transforming tuberculosis diagnosis by efficiently analyzing chest x-rays, providing more accurate and quicker diagnoses than traditional methods. Kenya also employs digital surveillance systems to monitor and manage epidemic threats using data analytics to track and respond to disease patterns while the enigmatic nation of Ethiopia is now leveraging AI for diagnosing and treating eye diseases like diabetic retinopathy through retinal image analysis. The list is long, and we promise to explore this in depth in another video. We are indeed proud of how African nations across the continent are integrating AI into e-health platforms for managing chronic diseases improve maternal health by analyzing data related to pregnancy and childbirth, aiding in identifying risk factors and enhancing care for expectant mothers. These diverse applications across Africa underline a transformative trend in African healthcare, where AI and data analytics are tools not just for crisis management, but also for everyday healthcare improvements, disease prevention, and enhancing the overall quality of healthcare delivery.
Let's now turn our attention to how digital health records are revolutionizing the management of patient data across Africa. EHR, the acronym for electronic health records, are pivotal in this transformation, enabling healthcare providers to offer more streamlined and effective services. Platforms such as Helium Health, based in Nigeria, which provides comprehensive hospital management tools, are at the forefront of this revolution. Still in the great nation of Nigeria, Reliance HMO uses digital tools to streamline interactions between patients and healthcare providers, maintaining accessible health records. In Kenya, Afya Rakad is advancing patient care by offering a digital platform for patients to store and manage their health records securely, empowering patients and ensuring easy access to their medical history for healthcare providers. Egypt's contribution to this digital transformation is evident with Vizita, a platform that facilitates online booking for healthcare services and integrates digital medical records, enhancing the patient experience and data management efficiency. In South Africa, Discovery Health ID, part of the largest private healthcare insurer, has implemented an electronic health record system that allows seamless and secure access to patient information for doctors, streamlining the healthcare delivery process. In Uganda, Rocket Health does not only provides telemedicine services, but also maintains electronic health records, facilitating improved management of patient data and healthcare delivery. These diverse applications of digital health records across the continent highlight the significant strides African countries are making in the healthcare sector. By adopting EHR systems and digital health platforms, these countries are not only enhancing the quality of healthcare delivery, but are also paving the way for a more interconnected and efficient healthcare ecosystem in Africa. Other tools significantly reforming our healthcare sector include virtual reality VR and augmented reality AR technologies. For example, in Nigeria, VR is employed for surgical training in medical schools and hospitals, enabling students and professionals to virtually practice complex procedures. This represents a tremendous advancement in practical medical education across our continent. Countries like Egypt, Morocco, and South Africa are also at the forefront of integrating VR and AR into medical education. These technologies are used for applications ranging from detailed anatomical studies to complex surgical trainings. In Egypt and Morocco, medical institutions use VR and AR for three-dimensional views of the human body, enhancing learning for medical students. It goes without saying that with such advanced and improved trainings, the medical doctors of tomorrow will be better equipped to deal with the challenges they face in the field. Morocco utilizes VR for in-depth neurosurgery training, allowing students to practice intricate procedures virtually. Meanwhile, South Africa pioneers the use of VR and AR for various educational purposes, including patient diagnosis simulations and interactive anatomical education. Wearable technologies, including smartwatches and fitness trackers, are gaining significant popularity across Africa, and they are being used in innovative ways to enhance healthcare. In Kenya, a notable example is Afya Pap, a mobile application connected to wearable devices. It monitors vital signs like blood pressure and blood sugar levels, catering specifically to individuals with or at risk of chronic conditions such as diabetes and hypertension. South Africa's LifeQ, using biometrics tracked through wearable devices, provides insights into personal health and wellness. It's widely used for monitoring heart rate, sleep patterns, and overall physical activity playing a vital role in preventive healthcare. In Nigeria, Ubenwa is an innovative application that uses AI to analyze a baby's cry through wearable technology. It helps in the early detection of birth asphyxia, a condition that can lead to critical health issues if not promptly addressed. In other countries like Senegal, Cameroon, and other African countries, wearable technologies like smartwatches are increasingly used for health monitoring. They are particularly useful in remote areas 
where healthcare facilities are rare, enabling individuals to keep track of their health vitals like heart rate and physical activity levels. Additionally, while not a wearable technology, Ghana's M Pedigree complements the digital health landscape. It uses mobile technology to verify the authenticity of medications, an important aspect of preventive healthcare. These examples demonstrate the diverse and innovative ways in which wearable and mobile technologies are being utilized in Africa. By facilitating the monitoring of vital signs and other health parameters, these technologies are not only empowering individuals to take charge of their own health, but are also providing essential data to healthcare providers, particularly in regions with limited medical infrastructure. This trend is a significant step towards enhancing preventive health care and managing chronic conditions more effectively across the continent. This is terrific. Let's now move on to the Internet of Medical Things, IOMT. IOMT is rapidly gaining prominence across Africa, revolutionizing healthcare delivery through the use of connected devices that collect and transmit health data remotely. In Senegal, the adoption of IOMT is particularly prominent, as connected medical devices have become instrumental in healthcare delivery, especially in remote and understaffed areas. Beyond Senegal, other African countries are also embracing this technological advancement. For instance, Kenya's emergency response system, FLARE, utilizes IOMT to optimize ambulance services. This system enhances the efficiency of medical emergency responses, ensuring timely care by tracking and managing emergencies in real time. In South Africa, the HearX Group is leveraging IOMT to provide accessible hearing care. Their technology enables remote hearing tests and monitoring, thus expanding audiometric services to those in hard-to-reach areas. Nigeria's innovative application of IOMT is seen in the Ubenwa app, which uses AI algorithms to analyze a baby's cry through connected devices, as we mentioned earlier. Additionally, Ghana is making strides with Redbird's rapid medical diagnostic tests connected to a mobile app. This integration facilitates efficient tracking and management of health indicators, such as blood pressure and glucose levels, enabling better chronic disease management and preventive care. The last for this video, but definitely not the least, is blockchain technology. Blockchain technology across Africa is being explored for secure health data management, enhancing data security and privacy in healthcare. Despite challenges we face like inadequate infrastructure, limited digital literacy, and funding issues, these technological integrations in healthcare across Africa offer tremendous opportunities for innovation, collaboration, and investment. Thanks so much for watching till the end. We encourage you to explore more educational content on our channel and also recommend our content to your family and friends. Happy New Year 2024 and looking forward to seeing you in our next video. Peace.